Hello, my name is Zach Schwartz. I'm one of the co-founders of API to PDF. API to PDF is a REST API that makes it convenient for you to convert HTML to PDFs along with uh, URLs, Office documents like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, images. And you can also merge or concatenate uh, two or more PDFs together. Uh, there's no rate limits and no file size limits, and you can sign up for as little as $1 to get started, no monthly commitments. So uh, this is by far the best pricing and the best uh, flexibility that you can possibly get among all the PDF generation services out there. Nothing even comes close. Uh, so definitely check it out, compare it against what else is out there. Uh, and um, in this video, we're going to cover the Python library. So I'm just going to drag over my Visual Studio code. I already got a virtual environment uh, set up for this. And we're going to walk through the different um, endpoints that the REST API offers here for our Python library. First thing you want to do is look at the documentation. Uh, I would just scan through it, look at the available endpoints we have. WK HTML to PDF is um, obviously one of the most popular PDF rendering engines out there. Headless Chrome is rather new, but uh, it's got some advantages. LibreOffice is what's used for converting the Office documents to PDF along with images. And of course, we have Merge. Uh, right now, as the time of this video, we have Python and .NET libraries. We're going to cover Python in this video and .NET in a separate video. So let's check out the GitHub repo for Python. And this is the documentation for the Python library. Uh, pretty straightforward to follow. There's, again, only a handful of those endpoints and instructions on acquiring an API key and its usage. So we'll just go through this together. It will only take a couple minutes. We're going to install the API to PDF client library with pip install API to PDF. Let's run that. There we go. It is now installed. So let's go ahead and actually add a new file. So we'll do from API to PDF, import API to PDF. And I'm going to save this here in my Python and call this uh, test pdf.py but you can call it whatever you want that's up to you but test pdf and there we go I'm gonna put some boilerplate down it's just good practice for when you're doing these types of files okay now that we have a main function we're going to initialize the API to PDF client. And we have your API key here. So we need an API key from API to PDF. And to do that, let's head over back to the documentation, drag that. And we need to go to portal.api to pdf.com. You can log in with GitHub or Google or click register now and create your account. Only takes a second. I already have an account with a balance on it, so we're just going to uh, switch over to that window. Once you're logged in, you can add a balance to your account. I have $5 on my account, but you can go to billing and top up your account with any amount. You can even go as little as $1, and you can choose whether or not to uh, auto-recharge your account if it falls below a certain amount. Um, or you can just turn that off and let it run out to zero. Up to you. Let's go back to applications. Add your first application. I already have one here. This is an API key. If you're watching this video, this API key probably will not be working by the time you see it. So don't try and use it. Uh, I want to give a quick little overview of what you have available. So if you click view, you can uh, refresh your API key, disable the app if you need to. We're just going to copy that for now. But what's also really useful about this web interface is the request logs. We have no requests uh, right now. We haven't done any yet. Uh, but you can see a bunch of requests that come in. So you can see what, you know, what's been successful 
um, including errors as well. And you can export the data to CSV if you need your log file. So that's pretty handy. Uh, we're gonna we, we may come back to this after we run a few. Now that we've got the API key, let's go ahead and paste it in here. And let's just do the most basic call. We're going to um, just do a hello world. So API response equals A2P client. And we're going to use headless Chrome, but you can use WKHTML to PDF as well. Convert from HTML. Hello world. That's it. Oh, it looks like we do have a bug here. We'll fix that bug. Click save. And then we'll print API response dot result. We'll just we'll print that just to see what, what comes out of it. Okay, that should be enough to generate a PDF. Let's go ahead and run it. That's it. And this is the URL to the PDF. I'm going to copy and paste this into a browser. And then load this up. There we go. That's our hello world. So at the most basic level, uh, that's how you can use the API. You can also do WK HTML to PDF, which will also work. Um, another other thing that's other things that are important for what comes back from the data. Look at the cost. The cost, in fact, it, it's it has to use this notation because it costs such a small fraction of a penny to run that. Um, in comparison to other APIs out there, that actually eats up one of your API calls. So you don't need to worry about API number of API calls or count the number of API calls when you're using API PDF. Um, it's, it's all really based on usage. So that's why you might be paying $99 for 50,000 PDFs for one API when API PDF it costs $6. Uh, let's walk through some more API calls that we offer. The first thing that I want to show is that you can, for both headless Chrome and WKHTML to PDF, you have both convert from HTML and convert from URL. So if I do this, it won't work, but I, I need to pass in a URL instead. So let's do github.com. And we're using WKHTML to PDF. Save and rerun. Copy and paste that. And there we go. That is WKHTML to PDF. I believe Chrome actually renders better URLs, um, but that's why we provide both Chrome and WKHTML so you can choose between the two, whatever renders better for your websites uh, give you, gives you the option. We also have a number of advanced settings available for both WKHTML to PDF and headless Chrome. And you can pass those options in. So one you can say inline PDF equals true. What this means is that if you go to the URL for the PDF, it will download the PDF to your machine and then you can open it. But if you click inline, sorry, if you go to inline PDF equals true, and then you go to the URL, it will open the PDF in the browser window, which might be what some of you prefer. So you have that option. You could also specify a file name like that. Uh, if you want, uh, if you leave this blank, then API to PDF will generate a file name for you. And finally, we have options. So let's say options equals, and it's, it's options is a keyword argument. 
So we'll pass in a dictionary. And for WKHTML to PDF and Headless Chrome, there's different options available. I'm going to drag this back over. And if we go really to any of these, you see we have options. So under WKHTML to PDF, you can pass this in like that. Uh, here's a full list of options that WKHTML has that we support. There's so many. Uh, why don't we just pick pick one? Uh, orientation. We'll change it to landscape mode. Orientation. Landscape. Okay. Now let's run it. Grab that AP that that PDF. Drag it over, and you can see that it is now in landscape mode. So that's just uh, how you would pass in additional options. Um, all right. Now the next set of endpoints is LibreOffice. So if we swap that out, change this to URL. And now we need to pass it a URL to a Word file or PowerPoint file or a Excel file. So I'm going to grab an example of that. One second. Okay. So here is a link to that sample Word doc. All this stuff can, uh, I mean, actually, we don't have options available on this one. We do just, we just have those named arguments, and we're going to remove that. So let's run it now that we have A2P client LibreOffice convert from URL, and we're passing a Word document. There we go. So passing Word documents is very easy to do from the Python library. All right. Now the final endpoint is merge. So let's take that PDF that we just converted from a Word file. We'll just call this um, other response just for now. ATP client. And we'll say wk html to pdf dot convert from html just to a hi there. Okay. And then we're going to merge this PDF with the other PDF that we converted because this takes in a list of links to PDFs. So we'll do final merge equals A2P client dot merge. And then this passes in a list. So we'll say API response dot result. PDF and the other one just like that and then we'll print out that final merge All right, it's done. Merge always takes a little bit longer. It's a heavy processing operation. That is the Word file, and we should expect to see hi there here at the bottom. There you go. So we merged these two PDFs together. And finally, I want to go back to the request log, let's refresh. And now you can see a whole bunch of requests. 
and the megabytes in, megabytes out, and the cost for for each of them, the merge, all of these. So that concludes this video on generating PDFs from HTML, URLs, Microsoft Office documents, and merging them together all using the API to PDF library. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much.